Hi everyone, welcome to another Singapore Maths Academy video. Today's lesson, we're going to look at area and try to introduce area two in year four. Now, some of our students have looked at area and they've forgotten some of the aspects they were taught in year four. So this would be even for year fives, a good reminder. Okay, so let's jump onto our whiteboard and figure this out together. So it says here area for year four and five. How are we going to solve area? First, we're going to know what area is, right? Have I drawn something that we can calculate the area for? That's the first question. What is that I've drawn on the board here? It's a line, right? How do we measure lines? We measure lines normally with a ruler and we kind of say it's a certain centimeter or even uh, millimeters and possibly even converting that into meters depending on how long the line is, right? Now, in today's lesson, we're looking at area. Area is different to length. A length you can measure using a ruler or any other measuring devices, right? But with area, it doesn't measure length. It measures a area, right? A certain space that a 2D shape takes. And so here, I could easily measure this, but if I have, let's say, a lovely looking rectangle, like so, then we can't say this is going to take up five centimeters, can we? We can't say it's going to take up five centimeters because it's not really a length. Now, this shape takes up a certain amount of space. If it's taking up a certain amount of space and is a 2D shape, we call that space area. So let's have a look at the space it takes up. This is all the space that this 2D shape is taking up, right? All of this space is what the 2D shape is taking up and all of this space is called area. So in order for us to calculate area, we have to do a few things. All of that is area. We have to agree on how we measure area. We're quite happy measuring a length, right? A line in centimeters, millimeters, meters. But with area, you might not have come across how to measure area. And that's where we're going to kind of talk about as well in today's lesson. So firstly, you might see in my drawing some squares there, right? So the way we measure area is by measuring how many squares the, the shape takes up. So in this case, we can count how many squares. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five squares across and we've got three squares going down. All together, we're going to have three rows of five. Five, five, and one, two, three, four. Five. we've got three rows of five so when we've got three rows of five what we know is three times five is 15 and so this rectangle is made of 15 squares are we happy with that does that make sense this rectangle is made of 15 squares now with this rectangle taking up 15 squares, we have to also be able to say this in a slightly different way, okay? 15 squares is okay at the beginning of looking at area, but we have to also be able to name these squares a certain terminology we use in maps. So here, if this is one centimeter, and therefore it's a square, so this must also be one centimeter. We say that this square here, let's shade it in green, this green square is called a square centimeter. This is called one square centimeter, and we write it down like that. Let me rub that out, actually. We write it down like this, one square centimeter. So this is one square centimeter, this is another square centimeter, another one. And we know there's three times five, there's 15 square centimeters 
that make this rectangle, this larger rectangle. And so we write this down as 15 centimeters squared or square centimeters. So this rectangle has 15 squares and that's why we say it's 15 square centimeters because each of the squares is one centimeter by one centimeter. So it's a bit of um, our area knowledge that we might have caught up with from year four, if you're in year five. If you're in year four, don't worry if you didn't fully understand that. We'll, we'll kind of go into this lesson and we'll have a few more goals at looking at how to describe area. So we know this is five squares going across, three squares all, uh, are going down, and so we've got 15 squares all together. What about if I have a different rectangle? If I have a rectangle like this, a two by, how many is that? Six. Right, so if I've got a two by six rectangle, there's two here and there's six going across, how many squares do I need to make that rectangle? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the top row and six on the bottom row. So that's gonna be two lots of sixes. This is gonna be two times six. There's 12 squares here that make this shape. And so we say they are, if these are all centimeters, if that's six, if this is one centimeter and there's six going across, that must mean there's six centimeters going across and there's two centimeters going down. And so that must mean it's 12 square centimeters. So depending on the measurements we're using, we can call this 12 square centimeters. If we have another rectangle, like this one, it's not a great rectangle here, is it? <laughs> Let me do that again. What kind of rectangle is this? Doesn't look that great, does it? Okay, so we've got a rectangle here. Let's pretend they're all equal, right? Um, this is a three centimeter by three centimeter rectangle. What kind of rectangle is that? Oh, it's a square, right? Because each side is equal here. So we've got three centimeters by three centimeters, and therefore it's a square. In this square, the area, the number of squares that this rectangle takes up, you can see is equal to nine, right? We've got nine squares. We've got three lots of threes. Three times three is nine. Because these are in centimeters, we can say this is nine square centimeters. The area of this square or rectangle is nine square centimeters. Remember, a square is a special type of rectangle as well, so we can still call it a rectangle. So nine square centimeters is the area of this shape. Have a go at working out the area of the next few shapes. Okay, so we've got four questions on the board. Have a go at these four questions. I'm gonna, you can pause the video and then you can have a go and then unpause the video after that, okay? So let's go through question one. What do you notice about question one? It says there is a three by four, three centimeters by four centimeter um, shape here, right? Three centimeters by four centimeters means that we'll have three rows of four, right? Three rows of four. So we're gonna have, or four rows of three, I should say. Is that right? Which one would that be? So if I've got three centimeters, then I'm gonna have three equal parts here like this. I've not used in this first question the squares very well, right? So I've kind of drawn it in a in an odd way, I suppose, right? I've got three here. I'm gonna have four centimeters this way. So I'm gonna have four squares like this. And so I can see using my other pen maybe, right? I've got these four. 
and I've got these three. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've got, let's see how many rows. I've got a row here of four. I've got a row here of four. And I've got a final row here of four. How many rows of four do we have? We have three rows of four. So we could do three times four to work out the area. So here, working out the area, three times four is 12. We've got 12 squares here. And each square is going to be called a square centimeter because these are in centimeters. And therefore, we've got 12 square centimeters as our area. The area of this shape is 12 square centimeters. Question two, we've got a one centimeter by six centimeters uh, rectangle here. And so this is just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see there are six equal squares. And so one times six is gonna be six square centimeters here as well. We've got six square centimeters for the area of this shape. Now, the last two shapes, even though I've written centimeters, if I change this to meters, right? Because they're not drawn to scale. So if I've said, if I say this is three meters and this is five meters, then I can still work out the area in exactly the same way, okay? I'm gonna work out the area in exactly the same way. I've got three here, another three, another three, another three. I've got one, two, three, four, five lots of threes, right? So five times three is equal to 15. This is in meters. So each of these squares is gonna be one meter here and another meter here. And so this is gonna be called a one square meters. This is a one square meter, right? This square here is called one square meter. I can see I've got 15 square meters all together. So all together, I'm gonna to have 15 square meters. And so we write 15 square meters as the area. The area of this rectangle is 15 square meters. And finally, we've got a six by seven here. We've got six centimeters going across and we've got seven centimeters all the way down, I should write, all the way here, right? Seven centimeters all the way there. So what is going to be the area of this shape? We've got six times seven, 42 square centimeters. This is in centimeters. That one was in meters. So we've got 42 square centimeters. Our area is 42 square centimeters. That means we've got 42 of these squares to make up this shape, okay? That's how we work out area. Area is how much a 2D shape takes up, how much space a 2D shape takes up, okay? And so here you can see that if it's a larger area, like this one's 42, we've got a lot more space that this shape takes up, right? Compared to, let's say, a 12 square centimeter area, you can see it's taking up less space. So the larger the space, the more square meters or centimeter area the shape will have. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna ask you a few um, additional questions when it comes to area and looking at area of a rectangle, okay? So here is our next question. Okay, I've got, I've got a shape here. Now, what I'm gonna do, what I might do actually, I might just take that shape out of here and I might put it onto this page. Yeah, that's a better idea, okay? I'm gonna change this template so that we'd have blank rather than a squared paper, we've just got blank paper. Is that gonna make a difference for you, do you think? Let's see. So, I'm gonna draw another rectangle. This time, I'm just gonna say that the rectangle is a four centimeter by six centimeter rectangle. How do I work out the area 
of this shape. Ah, uh, can you remember what we did before? How do I work out the area of this shape? How do I work out how many squares are there in this shape? If I make a rough sketch, I might be able to help you. But I don't want to keep making rough sketches all the time, right? So if it's four, it's going to have one, two, three, four here, four centimeters. If it's six, I'm going to have something like that. Got six here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And four, so I've got six times four, six times four, 24 square centimeters. The area of this shape is going to be 24 square centimeters. Now, I don't need to keep drawing out these squares inside and lines inside to work out how many squares. I can start to realize something. To work out the area of any rectangle how we're we going to do that the area of any rectangle we've always multiplied the length by the width length times width is how we work out the area of this rectangle and all the rectangles can you remember what we did before we did length times the width right length times the width and so length times the width length times the width that's how we worked out the area of all of the previous other rectangles. Probably not is that right? And so we did exactly the same here. Even though we can't see the actual squares, we can still recognize that we can use this formula for the area of any rectangle, which is a length times the width. Now, <clears throat> another problem that appears, um, which we'll go into, after giving you a few questions here. So I'm gonna write a few more questions out for you, have a go at those, and then tell me what you get for the area. Okay, class, so have a go at these four questions I've made for you. I'm gonna let you pause the video when you're ready, and then have a go, and then what I'm gonna do is go through them. So let's go through this video, let's go through this video, let's go through these questions. So in this question, um, in these questions, not just one question, all four questions actually, we don't see the actual squares, right, within the shape. So let's look at question one. We can't see the squares, so we can't just count how many squares make up this shape. If we wanted to, we could draw out four centimeters like this, and then we could draw out another four here, and then have a go at that, right? Four by four is gonna be 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. However, that is gonna be something problematic if we keep doing that. What we need to recognize now is to work out the area of this shape is gonna be four by four, four times four, the area is 16, it's in centimeters, it's 16 square centimeters. So if you've got 16, well done. Second question, we know the area of a rectangle is the length times width. And so here, the area is gonna be three times six, which is gonna be 18 square centimeters. The area of the shape is 18 square centimeters. Penultimately, we've got another one here. The area of this is seven times five. To calculate the areas, we have to do seven times five. Seven times five, we know is going to be 35. So the area is going to be 35 centimeters squared, right? It's in centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. Finally, we've got a question like this. Here, we've got the area. The length is 12 meters. The width is four meters. Area is going to be 12 times four. 12 times four is 48. In this example though, it says meters. The actual measurements are in meters. And so it's gonna be 48 square meters. There'll be 48 squares in this shape, all one meter by one meter. Hence it's 48 square meters. So this is the first part of our lesson where we look at area of a rectangle looking at how to work out the area of any rectangle as long as we know the length and the width we can work out the area of any rectangle if it's a square do we need to have both the length and the width do you need to have one right because squares have the same length and width and so if, you, if they're giving us the length then we know the width 
and vice versa. So I'm going to stop here for this video and then we're going to have a go at a different type of question for uh, area within rectangles after this.